Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to review two air fryers. The 5.3 quartz air fryer and the 8 quartz touchscreen air fryer. These two air fryers are from the same brand, Bella Pro Series. They both do amazing cooking jobs. Let's do an in-depth review. Thank you, Tony, for the um, introduction of the two hair fryer that we're about to review. Uh, before I go into the in-depth of the review, uh, I want to state that um, these two hair fryers, um, they are not being sponsored, so I, we, I bought them uh, myself so that I can give an honest review. Um, this is a Bella uh, 5.3 quart. Um, and the bottom one is um, Bella as well. They are the same brand, but the difference is that um, this one is um, 5.3 quarts, and this one is 8 quarts. The two of them will do the same thing. If you are watching this video, this is not uh, to introduce a um, hair fryer to you. You probably already know uh, what it can do. Probably you've already been using it before. I'm one of the people that um, got in the game really really late um, I started using it I think about four months ago or so and I was like wow why haven't I been using this for you know before so um, but now you have so many of these brands of hair fryer in the market now so a lot of people are you know confused as to which one you should get and for what purpose this top one I've been using it now for about four months and I really really like it so the only reason why I bought the uh, the bigger one is that um, it has, I mean, they do the same thing like I said, but the, the, the bottom one is a whole lot bigger. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. They both do the same thing. They both have the same control. They both have the same settings. And I'll go through all the settings to, uh, to let you know now. But um, like I said, the main reason why I bought this one is because of the size. Because, you know, this one, uh, I cook about six big drumstick, uh, drumstick chicken in this one. So, it, because if it's too crowded, the food may not cook properly or it may take longer to cook. So, or sometimes when I want to cook, um, maybe fry uh, plantain or potatoes and things like that, um, you can only, you have to cook uh, one batch. And then you have to wait to for that batch to be done and then you, you do another batch so it's kind of like you know if i'm hungry so or some or two, two or three people are hungry it's kind of um so i mean i i sometimes i don't have patience to wait for the um the second batch to be done so so my original plan was that i was gonna buy one more of these smaller ones so that i can operate the two of them at the same time but when I was searching online, I discovered that Bella actually made a bigger one, which is uh, this one. So there's another one that um, I'm going to show the picture on the screen that is uh, 10 quarts. That one is like, it's more like an oven. It's like the oven that you have in the house. So to me, it's, I, I prefer this bucket style better than the, um, than the oven type one. So this top one like i said is 5.3 quarts um so let me show you uh i don't know from the video if you'll be able to determine the size but basically to open it this particular one uh, you just pull it like this and it comes out so these are in two uh piece so to, to take it apart this is this is the this is where you put the food in so it has some holes in here so when you put like maybe burger chicken or any food that will drill fat the fat will drip into the the other base here so both of them you can wash them um in the dishwasher or you can put soap and wash them they are very very easy to clean so so i like this one but like i said you can see that um 
inside here it's not big enough for me so i mean if you just like a family of maybe two maybe one or two three people and you want to do a couple few chicken it's fine but sometimes i like to do uh guess this saying that uh cook once eat twice so sometimes i like to cook a lot of chicken or a lot of you know uh, other food and save the rest for uh, leftover for the uh, for another day you can't really do that with the even though it's faster to cook and all that but i like to uh, you know cook a whole lot uh, at once than to do it in batches so but i said okay let me get another one so so that i can run two at the same time so while i was looking online i came um i discovered the uh, the, the bottom one so the bottom one it's pretty much the same thing but like I said it's a whole lot bigger so <clears throat> for this one you don't need to press anything here you just pull it out you can see um, you can see the difference this is a whole lot bigger and it, it's this uh, <clears throat> the shape is round and you can put a whole chicken I mean this will fit a whole chicken perfectly and cook uh, easily than this one this one I've seen online when people put a whole chicken in there as well but um, it might the the top of the chicken may be touching the top of the element the heating element on top but this one it has a lot it's very deep and very wide so you can put a whole chicken here you can also put a whole lot of all your uh, chicken stuffings maybe vegetables and anything you want to cook with the kitchen uh, with the uh, chicken you can put it in here so everything will cook at once so this one i think easily you can fit about maybe 10 drumsticks and this one uh, maybe about 12 chicken wings so I mean the, the main purpose is to at least be able to um, give space in between the food that you put inside so that way you'll be able to um, they, they, they will cook very well so both of them are the same thing they, they are the same company they are from Bella I think Bella is a um, best buy product I'm not 100% sure but um, so they are, it depends on where you're looking for the sales they are about the same price but uh oftentimes unless oftentimes when they are uh when uh they have when best buy have them on sales uh this the bottom one runs about 150 uh the eight quart one and the top one runs about 120 sometimes 110 sometimes 100 dollars so uh that's about the uh uh, the, the, the price one major thing that I like about the um, the big one is that when you turn it on and I'll show you now when you turn it on here it's gonna it's at the default um, temperature uh, setting uh, heat setting is uh, 370 and 15 so you see that um, it will be blinking it, it's gonna assume that whatever you want to cook is 370 uh, eat and then 15 minute uh, time so but if you look here I don't know if you can see they have a whole bunch of presets that you don't have to guess how long my cooking time will be so um, they have sign that let you know um, what food you want to cook uh, this is drumstick this is a uh, steak this is a uh, shrimp uh, this is uh, what's this I don't, know. I don't know what this is so but they all have but I, I guess I have to look at the uh, instruction manual to see so but if, if you don't want to go by the um, if you don't want to go by the preset you can look at the um, manual that comes with it they also list can you bring the manual for me please so like for example uh, if you want to cook french fries uh, about six minutes strength four minutes meat uh, chops and roast uh, 25 minutes 400 degree chicken 10 minutes uh, 20 minutes or 10 minutes depends on how well done you want it to be fish five minutes steak six or 12 minutes so they have they have it in the uh, in the manual here so you can when you when you buy your own don't throw this manual away it has a lot of information in it that it will let you but by the time you use it very um couple of times so you get familiar with the time how much each um you know food will take to cook so enough about this one i'm going to turn it off 
So when you put your food in there, the way I normally like to use it, I don't usually use the preset. Say like if I want to cook, if I want to cook chicken now, and I know that chicken will take 15, 20 minutes to 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 be done, because it requires you to um, flip the uh, the the food that you are cooking. So when you are cooking steak, or you are cooking chicken, or you are cooking vegetables, uh, food that you need to turn over, um, if I put it 15 minutes or I let it um, run the preset time for 15 minutes and I'm doing other thing, the top may get burned. Um, so what I normally do is that if I'm going to cook for 20 minutes, I will set the timer for 10 minutes. I'll set for timer, timer for first 10 minutes and then I will let the, 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 um, the air fryer cook the food for 10 minutes. So when, it, when, when, that 10 minute is, when that 10 minutes is done, it will beep like normally when you are using your microwave it will be to let you know that that 10 minute is done so i will open it flip my food put it back and set another 10 minutes so this way i'm in control of when i flip it from one side to the other side if you run the whole 20 minutes or if you don't use the preset you just run the whole 20 minutes um, and you do something you're preoccupied you you might forget the food the food might get born or you know uh cook not cook the way you like so um so one one other feature before i go to the top one that i like about this one i couldn't believe it when i turn it on today i got this the bottom one today and it's very very quiet it's really really very quiet i mean you hardly notice anything is um you hardly notice anything is you know operating in, in the kitchen so when i put it on i thought is this thing working because it's so quiet you, you hardly can hear you, you can't even hear anything so it's just very quiet i think that's an improvement over this one so let me turn it on so you you'll be the judge um it's on now so it's working now but um you you, you can you do you can't even if you walk away you probably won't know that it's working so okay Uh, when you turn it off, it's going to take a couple of seconds before it, it recycles itself and completely turn off. So I'm going to wait for it to turn off and then I will go back to this one. Okay. Okay. So the the smaller one, the, I keep saying smaller, but it's not that small. It's just that for me... I like I don't like to cook in batches. I like to cook a whole lot at one time. So, but for a family of two, three, or maybe even four, this is more way more than enough. So you don't have to get a bigger one if you don't need to, especially if you don't have um, kitchen space to put it because uh, this thing takes space on your kitchen. So, but I can tell you, if been using if you have been using a hair fryer for a long time, you know that um, um, you know you. For me, since I've been using this one, I we barely use our oven. I mean, we barely use our regular stove. So we use this for the most part, and you save money on the oil because you're not using oil to cook. Um, you're not deep frying anything. So you pretty much put your food in there, spray it with oil, and I use a uh, spray oil. Sometimes I use um, um. Sometimes I use. I use uh, olive oil, I use this one, and I use uh, palm, so, and sometimes I use um, avocado oil, um, if I want to use this one, I will put it in a, in a bowl and use brush to, to, to apply to the food, if I'm doing steak or chicken or, um, or fish, so, but this one is spray. I got it from um, I got it from um, Sam's Club. So it comes like in pack of two. So you just spray it. So this is uh, this is olive oil. So this one it's regular palm. So the regular one non-stick palm that we all use. So there's no um, a big deal to that one. Um, both of them the default uh, heat setting is 370. And cooking time is 15 minutes so the same thing with this one but the difference 
is that this one you have two controls for uh, to control the minute and also to control the eight so they have you have two control so on this side you have if I start pressing this now it is down to 40 minutes 30 minutes like that till whatever and then you press start so and then if you're on this side you can do the um, you can reduce the heat so you can reduce the heat by um, as you press it it comes down three it comes down in five three fifty three forty five and all that but but this one this one here the control for both the uh, heat and time and cooking time they are on one button so they are on one um, control so you don't really you don't really have option to control both of them at the same time the way they put this together is, is that when you see the cooking time 15 show that's the time that you can control that uh, time so you wait for that it, it will show it so now it's on 15 now I can control it Oh, so wait. So when it's on when it's on heat, that's when this control will work for the heat. When it's on um, cooking time, that's when you can reduce the time. So you have to wait for the display to show you whether the um, the the heating time or the cooking time. So and then you can use the control to control up or down. That is if you don't want to use the preset. Um, if you don't want to use the preset um, time so for this one this one also has um, memory for for the preset cooking time so but to activate this one you have to press M there's an M button here you press it um, when you press every each time you press uh, M it's going to show you what option that is available like this is strength you press it again, steak, press it again, uh, drumstick, fish, um, another option here. So like that, pizza. So another, like that, so as, as, as I'm pressing it, you can see the temperature, the heat is changing to uh, the preset temperature. So again, as you use this very often, you'll get used to certain food at what temperature and at what cooking time. So you'll get familiar with it. For those of you that have been using it, this should not be a big deal to you but again the purpose of this video is not actually to introduce you to a to hair fryer but to actually compare this product from the same brand so they are both bella um bella pro series but this one like i said this one is smaller a little bit this one is a whole lot bigger so and for the price i mean they are not really bad because um i've seen other ones that doesn't have a whole lot of features that in the range of almost $200 and most of them are either plastic so this can blend in with most uh, kitchen uh, appliances like stainless so you can see it, it's stainless here and then it's stainless here with black so it's really beautiful so um, that's about it so if you're in the market I strongly recommend this I mean I've been, I've been using this one now for the past uh, four months like I said um so and i really really like it i mean i i've been blaming myself why didn't i you know um jump into this uh way of cooking for a very long time so we don't deep fry any food anymore so we cook all our food um in here so we do chicken um uh, plantain potato uh french fry when i put uh french fry from checkers um checkers french fry I don't even use oil I just put the french fries in there I just put it like three minutes it's done with big bread inside this one we've done cookie cookie is like five minutes if you have your for your dough uh, your cookie the pre-made uh, dough from the store from Sam's Club or wherever you get it from just squeeze them into small sizes we, we do about nine small cookies at a time so that we can give space in, in between them so we've done i mean guys that i don't think there's any food you cannot cook here uh one of my friends that i introduced this to they do vegetables you know a whole lot of 
you know different food they do it uh, in here so for those of you that are scared or you don't know what the technology is or you're still doubting whether you should get it or not i strongly advise you get it because especially if you are on the side of trying to heat healthy food because most of the food that we consume uh fried chicken and all that they use a lot of oil um you know in cooking so you completely by cooking this way you completely eliminate you know cooking with oil so that's the idea behind this technology so again you can pick this one up or this one up they will do the same thing but to me mainly the major difference is the size so this one is bigger this one is smaller and also the control here you have more control here they will do the same thing but the control here are separate so you can control the cooking time separately here and also the eat separately this one the controls are lumped into one and before i forget i'm going to turn this one on like i said this one is very very loud so it's very very loud the fan when it's when it's cooking it's very very loud so if you're watching tv you might have to turn up the turn on the tv turn up the volume really loud to hear i i'll let you um hear now so it's it i mean it's really really loud so it's really loud so so you can see now it's loud but you know it's you know it's working it's cooking so you get used to the the, the noise um, when you are cooking okay you can hear the sound of the top one how loud that one is compared to this one when you turn it on i'm just gonna turn it on It's cooking now you can barely hear anything that so I guess you know if you're trying to decide if you narrow your for those of you that that still don't have hair fryer and you're looking for and you're looking to buy one I, I strongly recommend this product like I said this video is not being sponsored so I'm giving you an honest opinion I really really like it but again three major difference between this one and this one just to recap this one is smaller this one is bigger this one the control on this one um, you can control the heat separately you can control the cooking time separately also it's not noisy so it's less noise than this one this one uh, this one is one one unit so this one is one unit so this one this one is two, is two units the bucket I mean the basket and the outside tray you have to separate them when you want to wash them so um, that's basically the review for today thank you daddy for that in-depth review thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye